What is up to Windows 7? Hi everybody, let me introduce myself to you all. I am Akash. The same little boy came up with two hour Windows 7 training video released one year ago. You must have watched it in YouTube. If not, you can watch the clips of 8 minutes in YouTube. Type in the search column the professor kid also you can watch it in my website www.theprofessorkid.com click on windows 7 movie pick up a copy of the complete training video from amazon.com type in the go column the professor kid well did you ever hear about the next os after windows 7 that is windows 8 Microsoft is going to introduce the new unique Windows 8 operating system by mid or fall 2012. It is quite clear that the tablet and mobile worlds have begun to impact the desktop operating system in a major way. Microsoft is a little behind in this tablet and mobile trend and they have to catch up with the rapid changing advanced technology in today's competitive world. Of course, it will still take one year or more, the sooner the better, to fully develop and release the new Windows 8 operating system. In my personal view, if Microsoft incorporated the cool touch-centric technology in Windows 7 release, they could have maintained the software technology superiority in the world market. Well, I guess Microsoft fell in second position today and perhaps there is a chance that they will supersede in 2012 when they release Windows 8 and this one most anticipated OS will work with all interfaces. Well, Windows 8 is not ready yet. Don't get excited. Give Microsoft a little more time. Stick with the current Windows 7 operating system which is a very good OS unlike Windows Vista. Windows XP Service Pack 3 mainstream support is ended in April 2009, but the users can still be able to enjoy the extended support for XP Service Pack 3 until April 2014. This next generation operating system, which may or may not be called Windows 8, delivers a completely reimagined user interface with a heavy emphasis on touch-based functionality. There are many new key features. One of the first major design changes from previous Windows versions is the completely overhauled Windows Start menu, which has been replaced with a colorful tiled design that evokes the exposed screen of Firefox or other similar quick screen navigation features found in most new web browsers. Rather than web pages, however, the new start screen shows both static program icons and widgets called live tiles, which provide constant notifications and updates. Windows 8 also allows users to access all the files on the computer in the same visualized way that programs are accessed, which helps make the operating system easy to navigate with touch alone. Windows 8 home screen can hold a grid of 18 square live tiles. Since Windows 8 is obviously designed with tablets in mind, but can be used with a standard mouse and keyboard too. Users switch from application to application by swiping left and right in a similar fashion to mobile phones operating systems like Apple's, iOS, or Google's Android. Applications included with the new Windows 8 operating system like weather application, stock ticker application, a built-in news application all take advantage of the entire screen. Certainly, Windows 8 still allows for multitasking and multiple applications can be viewed simultaneously on the same screen simply by dragging and dropping the application window onto 
the main screen. Windows 8 also takes advantage of current web standards like HTML5 and JavaScript and is optimized to work with Microsoft's upcoming web browser, Internet Explorer 10. Well, while you can definitely use the more detailed Windows 7 style folders, there appears to be a directory application built into Windows 8 that separates things into eight categories. Documents, pictures, music, videos, desktop, downloads, computer, and network. All files from all applications are pulled together as well so you can view every picture or song on your computer no matter which actual folder it is in. In addition, any application you install that allow remote uploading or storage will appear as options so you can easily dump the pictures or files you wish. Copying and pasting multiple files appears to be a bit easier than past versions as well. Microsoft is taking a challenging approach to the expanding market of device sizes. It is developing one operating system through the maw. Windows 8 is being designed around flexibility so it can run on all types of devices from heavy PCs to netbooks to tough tablet computers and maybe even TVs and phones. As said before, Windows 8 actually comes with a full version of Windows 7 inside of it or an interface that looks identical to Windows 7 for backward compatibility. It has a desktop start menu and the ability to open any applications you wish. While we may rebel at the idea of the traditional desktop going away, we have to also face facts that traditional PCs and even Macs are not as natural and easy to use as many newer touch-friendly interfaces. They may be able to do a lot of things and we may be used to them, but a good proportion of computer users still don't entirely understand the directory system inside a PC, though most understand my documents. Overall, Windows 8 looks like a step in the right direction for Microsoft as it tries to compete with the touchscreen powerhouse of Apple's iPad line and its iOS software. I will update if there is anything new from Microsoft about Windows 8. Till then, thanks for watching this short video.